Hello, hey everybody. Oops. <laughs> Good morning, welcome to the Uke Revolution Live. You're watching a lesson for the Terrence Trent Darby song, or if you want to use his um, his new name, Sananda Maitreya song, Wishing Well. This is a live stream playback if you're watching from the future, which means like, yeah, it'll be a bit longer than if it was an edited lesson. That's why there's timestamps. So if you want to skip around the lesson, you don't have to watch the whole thing. No one's forcing you to. Please use the timestamps to find the information that you want. Um, if you're interested in finding the PDF song arrangement for this song, you can follow the links to check out the details for monthly membership on Coffee, and then you can access the whole library. So we're getting right into it because we're getting right into it. That's why. <laughs> so this arrangement is toggled down a half uh, down a half step to make the chords more user friendly. There's information about the original key corresponding chords that match the ones that I'm teaching today. We're playing in the key of A. The original key was B flat, so you can use capo one and these chords if you wanna play in um, the original key, or you can tune your ukulele up G sharp, C sharp, F, A sharp, and then use these chords and it'll sound like the original key B flat. But I chose A today just to make it a lot more user friendly. So the chords that we have are A, A, G, A7. So A7 is the first fret, the C string. And then A add nine. So if you make the regular A shape, and then you're just gonna add your ring finger on the A string of the second fret. A add nine. G suspended four, so G suspended four is the second fret, the C string, and then the third fret, the E and the A string. So these two here on the end, the A add nine and the G suspended four, these are possible chord variations. You don't have to play them. You can play this song with just the A and the G, or just the A, the G, and the A7. The A add nine and the G suspended four are possible chord variations that you can use in place of A or G. So this, I don't know if this is obvious, but I'm gonna state it anyway. <laughs> you can use A add nine as a substitute for A seven or A, and you can use G suspended four as a substitute for G. And the chord layout here is Okay, I've made like a simplified one and then I've made kind of the regular one what the song actually is. So this song, the original production is really beat heavy. It's a pretty like sparse production. There's not a lot of, um, there's not a lot of like corded or toned music. So we have a lot of freedom to use things like those chord variations like A add nine and G suspended four. So you can really like mix things around, mix and match things and um, kind of make it your own based on which ones you like, like what you like, how it sounds. So the regular verse and chorus, so this is most of the song, um, is A for eight beats, G for six beats, and then A for two beats. In between all of these forward slashes is four beats. So we have, it's a bar or a measure of four beats. So we have A for eight, G for four, G for two again, and then A for two. And because that rhythm at the end with the G for two and the A for two is a little bit tricky, I made this simplified version that works for any part. So you can play just to A for eight and G for eight. Very simple. For the pre-chorus, so the pre-chorus is the, um, Melody, it's kind of like the second half of the verse, but because the chords are a little bit different, I made it a separate part because we have this A7 now. It's the slowly but surely. That section, we have A7 for eight, and then the same thing, G for four, G for two, and A for two. And I wanna just check in real quick with, hello, okay. <laughs> hey guys, I was just checking in with the chat real quick. Okay, don't forget to hit like, please, if you guys are hanging out. Okay, so if we play with just a down strum, we're gonna, we're gonna play these verse and chorus chords with just a down strum like this. One, two, three, four. A, A, G, two, 
again. A. A. G. G. A. For the pre-chorus, we're going to do A7 for 8, G for 4, G for 2, and then A for 2, and just strumming down. 1, 2, 3, 4. A7. A7. G. G. A. Do it again. A7. A7. G. G. A. And then the simplified one, um, this is just making the last bar with that G and A easier for you. So if you want to play any part of the song with this A for eight and G for eight, you can do it. Um, let me show you the strum that I suggest. This song has like a subdivided beat because it's it's fairly slow. So you can, oh, that is not the right one. Hold on. <laughs> That's the old one, I think. Oh, I have it. I have it, but somehow the wrong one got in there. Let me see. Okay. Yeah, here it is. Okay, so this is number 14 from the strum index. If you're curious what the strum index is, there's links below for the lesson, and there's a free PDF that has a bunch of strum patterns listed for both um, divided beat songs like Island Strum and for um, kind of funkier strums like one of like this song is subdivided beat and the one that i use a lot these days is this one let me do this and this okay so same thing there's two forward slashes this is a whole bar so it corresponds with corresponds with one bar from here this one strum pattern fits into one of these bars with just one chord in it. So easy on the chords, difficult on the rhythm maybe. <laughs> down, up, up, chunk up, 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 down, chunk up. Up, down, up, up, chunk up, 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 down, chunk up. I'm just playing A. Down, up, up, chunk up, 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 down, chunk up. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. Down, up, up, chunk up, 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 down, chunk up. Up, down, up, up, chunk up, 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 down, chunk up. If you want to play this song with something like Island Strum, you're gonna have to double it up. So you would play Island Strum two times in one bar. It would fit into this one E and a. A whole down, down, up, up, down, up would fit in there. And it's gonna make the song sound really different. I'll give you a demonstration of it later when I do the the lyrics. Let me see. Where's my lyrics thing? And we'll do it now. Anyway, so this is an example of the verse with the lyrics. And for the intro, the intro of this song, the original production is just percussion. So you can just use whatever chord pattern you're using and play it as many times as you want before coming in because there's a percussion entrance and it's actually like a odd number of beats. So we can't really perfectly match a chord pattern to it and we don't need to anyway because there's no chords in it. So you just choose whatever length of intro you want. Uh, let me see. So I'm gonna play, I'm gonna play the verse and the pre-chorus with the lyrics using the like subdivided beat strum. And for the intro, I'll just do the, I'll do one round of that chord progression, the A, A, G, G, A thing. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. A. A, two, three, four, G. G, A. A, I'm doing it again. <laughs> A, G, G, A. Kissing like a bandit. 
stealing time underneath the sycamore tree. Cupid by the hour sends valentines to my sweet lover and me. Slowly, surely, your appetite is more than I knew. Sweetly, softly, I'm falling in love with you. So I forgot to say something with strumming about these chords at the end of the verse lines. For the G and the A and the way that it's um, notated here in italics, you can just strum to make it simpler and actually it matches the production of the original better as well. You can just mat, uh, you can just strum down two times for each one. So you're going to strum down G, G, A, A, and you're following those lyrics. So let me play, let me play the like second half of it, the pre-chorus here. So I could show you how to do that with just strumming down one time for each one of these chords, the italicized ones on the end. One, two, three, four. Slowly, surely, your appetite is more than I knew. Sweetly, softly, And then we're to the chorus. So let me show you the chorus with the lyrics. One, two, one, two, three, here we go. Wish me love a wishing well to kiss and tell. A wishing well of butterfly tears. Wish me love a wishing well, kiss and tell. A wishing well of crocodile tears. And then we've got a little interlude, and I did tab the. I did tab, where is it? I did tab the little interlude riff for you. It's kind of like, um, it sounds like a synth recorder or like electric recorder kind of sound, like some kind of woodwind. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. So if you want to play this little, that little kind of flute or woodwind riff, it's here on the A string. We have zero, four, seven. And we repeat that little zero, four, seven thing a few times. And you've got the seven, two times the last time around. Zero, four, seven, zero, four, seven, zero, four, seven, seven. And then a similar kind of like melody line, but it's dropped down to the G. So we have three, two, five. The three is on the E string. So same kind of rhythm. You're playing three, two, five, three, two, five, three, two, five, and you repeat the five on the end. So for that three, two, five one, I'm using the middle finger for the three on the E string. And then my pointer finger for the A string, the two. And then my pinky or my ring finger for the five. Whoops. <laughs> Wait. On the zero four seven, I'm using my pointer finger and one of the last two fingers for the seven. The pointer finger for the four. And you have the corresponding chords here just to show you like where it is in the rhythm of the chord progression. So you can use that for the interludes if you want to, or if you do any little kind of looping thing, or you like to finger pick, or, and whatever you like to do, you can do it. I'm trying to make sure there's um, nothing else I wanted to note before I play the whole thing. I said the thing about the two down strums for the thing. Oh, I was gonna show you what it sounds like with the island strum. Uh, 
Um, so we're playing like two island strums for each one of these chords. And we'll still do the down, 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 down thing for the G and the A's at the end. Mm, do down, down, up, but down, up, down, down, up, but down, up, down, down, up, but down, up. Kissing like a bandit, stealing time underneath the sycamore tree. Ooh, that throws me off. <laughs> Cupid by the hour since Valentine to my sweet lover and me. Okay, so just do the strum pattern slowly, but surely your appetite. So it's kind of a weird, it's like the bluegrass version. <laughs> it's like the bluegrass version of Wish You Well. But if you want to do it, you can do it. If you don't like um, this strum pattern, there's, as you can see, it's number 14. That means there's loads more ideas and options that you could get from the strum index and use what works for you. Strum patterns are suggestions. We're worried more about the rhythm of the strum pattern. And if you want to learn more about strum rhythms there's a lesson linked below too that's called funky strumming or something like that that subdivided beat strum rhythms okay i'm gonna put on a little beat and play the whole thing let's see does anybody have any partic particular questions cool hey everybody um what's the bpm for this song let's see wishing well BPM, Terrence. I have to type in Terrence because I think there's a contemporary uh, rapper. I can't remember who it is, but they have a song that's called Wishing Well, too. It might be Kendrick Lamar. I'm, I can't remember. Um, this song, BPM, is 105. Ooh, that's what I'm on. Let's see. Yeah, it feels fast, doesn't it? Well, kiss and tell, a wishing well, a but a da da e. Now that's right. I'm gonna take it down too. I'm gonna put it on 103. Just take it down a little bit. <laughs> Two, three, four. I'm gonna do um I'm gonna do two playthroughs of the chord progression and for the intro and then that's it and what's the other thing I wanted to say that's hectic um oh I might use some of the chord variations this time and let me put up I'll put this up in case you're following along without the thingy. One, two, three, here we go. A, G. This thing I'm keeping it real light because it's fast. Keeping the strumming really light. Kissing like a bandit, stealing time underneath the sycamore tree. Cupid by the hour since Valentine's to my sweet lover and me. Slowly, but surely, the appetite is more than I do. Sweetly. Softly, I'm falling in love with you. Wish me love a wish and well, kiss and tell. A wish and well, a butterfly tears. Wishing 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 well, a butterfly tears. Wish
Wish me love, a wishing well to kiss and tell, a wishing well of crocodile tears. Beside a riverboat gambler, Roderick and Majesco through my head. Say, I want to be a man, not a rambler. That snuck up on me. <laughs> Quickly, the blood races through my veins. Quickly, loudly. I love this lyric. I want to hear those sugar bells. Yeah, I did not do the chorus. I just started doing the riff. <laughs> wish me love, a wishing well, to kiss and tell, a wishing well of butterfly tears. Wish me love, a wishing well, to kiss and tell, a wishing well of crocodile tears. this song too it reminds me of um i don't know the 80s <laughs> um i know this song because my mother has excellent taste in music and we had the cassette tape of this album <laughs> so i remember hearing this like driving around the car and stuff um yeah that's it wishing well you can just end on the a you play the chorus as many times as you want. You end on the A. Um, I feel like there was some other little note that I had, but now I can't remember it. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's all. Thanks for um, tuning in, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Hope that you have a great day, and I'll see you next time with another lesson. Peace out. Happy strumming. Stay funky. Bye-bye.